she see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. But you was down and out like last week. Tell me where have you been? You came out of hiding, girl. I look like I'm your man. You're just a fan, but you don't hold rain. Don't hold no rain. Don't hold no rain. <laughs> no, be on. Don't hold no rain. Oh, 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 oh. So, guys, say he got a word, right? He's sending out a word, right? So, I have a word. So, I was being pulled on after that to read Revelations 20, 7 through 15, and break that down. That's what I was told to do. The other one is a conversation, right? Never think that when your eyes play a trick on you, that it's not another um, unction from God, too, as well, right? So, with that being stated, Revelation 20, 7 through, what did I say? 7 through 15. And when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are the four quarters of the earth. Gog and Magog. To gather them together to battle. The number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Now with that being said, we just seen all of this. We see all of this. This has been going on since 2019. The gathering of people against another group of people. Another person. Right. So we've seen the wicked gathering themselves up to come against the just right and that's been taking place since 2019 here in america right. <laughs> and they went up on the breadth of the earth encompassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city and fire came down from god out of heaven and devoured them so that's what i was just saying about how people have been gathering up since 2019 to come against the just the wicked to come against the just and God said, no, I justify my children. So God has been doing what? Sending all kinds of stop it, stop it, stop it. Natural disasters are stop it from God. Those are the, I'm not going to tell you no more. Don't touch my table. I just wiped it off with some Windex. It's shining and you're putting fingerprints all over it, kid. Get away from it. Right. So that's what these natural disasters are. These are stop it from God. And people aren't doing it. People aren't taking heed. People are not stopping. Right. So verse 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So the beast, the false prophet, and the devil will all be locked up together forever and ever and ever. So that's a specific, that's for a specific group of people who went way too far in life. So now they'll all be locked up with who? Their favorite person, the devil, right? Forever and ever and ever to receive torment, right? It says torment to day and night, forever and ever and ever for those who say God is a forgiving God, God is a loving God. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> right? Don't you get tired of your child's nonsense? Yes, you do. Don't you want to knock your child's head off? Yes, you do. Don't some of you knock your child's head off? Yes, you do. Right. So, verse 11. And I saw a great, a great white throne and him that sat on it from the, from, excuse me, verse 11. <laughs> and I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. So everyone is judged. Now, with this being stated, when we looked at the first one, okay, let's go back. If you watched my, you know, my, um, 
word with love where I just had like a two minute one just now the one preceding this well with that one it was talking about the um, death and resurrection that is the first death those people were saved from watching judgment take place my yacht right these people are were dead they died and God put everyone to sleep that passed the class he put them all to sleep everyone that passed the class God put to sleep it, it, it was time up he put everybody to sleep and then he went to go and judge those who believe in that Yoruba stuff that Egyptian stuff who worship everything but God and love Jesus right so this is where he's saying if you do not accept my son as your Lord and Savior you are still awake right my just children will be put to sleep and the rest of you will be alive being judged the harshest way because you did not pass the class you did not care to pass the class meaning you shun Jesus you said no you cannot shun Jesus I don't know why you're not understanding that from this New Testament I don't even understand why y'all not understanding God's English in this New Testament. He is saying, if you do not accept my son, Revelation tells you the entire time, if you do not accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then you might as well consider yourself dead to God. I don't know why you're not understanding that. You run around here parading yourself as though you are a child of God. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then this passage is about you. You will be thrown into the lake of fire. You have failed. So with that being stated, the devil deceived them that was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, and the beast and false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw the great throne, and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened. And this is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things that were written in the book according to their works. So in that book of life, everything that you have done as a wicked is written. And God will throw it right back in your face with a nice, beautiful spit. Right. Like a camel. He, God is going to spit in your face like a camel. All of the wicked you have done while you have been alive on this earth. Dear people who fail, my yacht, right? All you, you wrote, excuse me, anyone who has not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior as of now, God has spit in your face like a camel, right? If you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are not even really a real Christian. You know what you're doing. You're sitting and grinning, right? And I'm talking about being in chick's face. You know what I'm talking about, right? Don't play with me. If you're still doing that, but you call yourself a Christian, guess what? God said that you're not a Christian, and I'm going to throw you over there because you're lukewarm. You're not hot or cold. At least if you're cold, I can come to you and give you a chance to repent. But all this lukewarm, you know better. So being lukewarm, God says you know better. So with that being stated, no, I'm not doing nothing for you. No, I'm not helping you, and no, I'm not warning you. I'm going to just throw your ass on over there with the heathen. Because lukewarm people do know better. They just like, mm, I got a little time. No, you never know. Like you said, you never know when I'm going to call you home. You never know when a teacher going to call your name in class. Right. Everybody got their hand up with you. The teacher definitely going to call on you. Right. Verse 13. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the death which were in them. Excuse me. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered the dead that were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. I told you guys, back in 2019, I raised up the dead, and God, right, it was my yacht. So the dead raised out of the sea. All of y'all ancestors that came over here in ships and all that stuff, tried to get over here in ships and could not. All of that type of stuff. Whoever was thrown into the sea, whoever died in the sea, whoever body was pushed into the sea, God brought them up, and he judged them, right. So this, th th that's already taken place in 2019. So judging has been taking place this entire time while you're playing games. So with that being said, in verse 15, and those, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Right, the lake of fire, you're thrown away. You're done. You're finished. God said, it's over for you. Lake of fire, you're never coming back. But for those who are the devil, the false prophet, And the beast, yeah, you guys will go into a fire 
and will be tormented forever. Exactly. God does not care the same way you don't care. God don't care the same way you don't care. So stop saying God is a loving God and God is a forgiving God. Excuse me. Are you coming to him for forgiveness? Are you forgiving people? Are you changing your life? Are you changing your ways? Or are you just quoting things? Are you just mocking things? Repeating what you hear? But none of this is what you live at all. None of this scares you at all. None of this makes you say, ooh, mm -hmm. maybe I should stop. Right, no, mm -mm. it does not. If it's driving you, if me reading this Bible drives you to be more evil, then please understand you'll be in this lake of fire and you have a beautiful, beautiful evening because we're in excellent, aren't we? Are we in evening? Nope. Dang, we still have to know. Well, guess what? We'll be excellent within 30 minutes. It is 428 on my clock. So we'll be excellent real soon because we're still in great. But like I said, if this pulls you and drives you to do dirt to me, guess what? You will definitely be thrown in the lake of fire. You are definitely on that list. Right. Your heart is heavy as I don't know damn what. And that swing broke your ass bone. Good. Coccyx is broken. Right. Your coccyx is broken. 